we became involved with bushfire support in around middle to end of November when the bushfire season started to evolve. I'm Lieutenant Commander Nick Grimmer. I'm from the UK on exchange with the Royal Australian Navy. Uh, I'm the Flight Commander for Flight 3. We're based at 808 Squadron, HMAS Albatross, but currently posted to HMAS Jules. Just before Christmas, my leading seaman Air Freeman, he was involved in an evacuation near HMAS Albatross. Two elderly gentlemen, the flames were lapping at his doorsteps, literally around about 50 to 100 metres away. Uh, they had no escape, so the air crewman, he managed to get them into the aircraft and evacuate them safely. We've also done evacuations from Malacuta to East Sail, so we've been heavily involved in evacuating people, whether that's from on the front line, where they're in direct fire of the fire front, or whether they are from Malacuta. We've been taking by Emirates United Helicopter various liaison teams into remote areas that have been cut off by the fires so they've got no communications, no power, so taking the teams in and they then determine exactly what these people need to help them on the recovery phase post the fires going through. Just two days ago we did a significant amount of resupplying HMS tools with everything from nappies for the evacuation personnel or potatoes for the galley. We actually took a significant amount of water, food and medical supplies into Malacuta for those residents that stayed behind. So they're, they're still fed and watered as this continues. The collaboration between the Navy, the medical services and external emergency services, I feel has been exceptional. Liaison with the RFS on an intimate level, quite a minute, and that would then feed into our tasking so we would then get flying and deal with whatever they deem that we need to go and deal with. Regarding medical teams, so HMS Jules, we've had an AME team specifically embarked for this and they've been excellent. In terms of things I'll take back with me to the UK, managing risk immediately and making them high level decisions as to keeping the aircraft and the crew safe versus going into these effectively danger zones with the fire and the smoke lapping over you and just making a decision, can we get in there to evacuate them or can we not? And unfortunately, sometimes we can't, the smoke is just too thick, uh, whereas other times we've managed to get in and actually get people out of that danger zone. The amount of gratitude people have when you've helped them. Certainly when we took the people into Melbourne, having evacuated them from uh, Malacuta, the gratitude that they showed was, was unbelievable. So um, a good few lessons that I'll take home.